Ozempic. With Ozempic. 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 There has been a lot of buzz around this drug called Ozempic. Odds are, if you have been on TikTok and Facebook of late, you have come across women sharing their stories, claiming that after years of struggling to conceive, they finally got their miracle baby, thanks to Ozempic. But what is the real story behind this so-called miracle drug? Today, I want us to talk the truth about Ozempic. In this video, I will be answering the questions, how does Ozempic work? What are Ozempic babies? The effects of Ozempic on birth control? Should you use Ozempic during pregnancy? And the use of Ozempic for PCOS. How does Ozempic work? For those who don't know, Ozempic is a drug that is FDA approved to treat type 2 diabetes and the active compound in Ozempic is called semaglutide. Now, let's have a look on how it works. Semaglutide mimics a natural peptide inside the body called glucagon. When you take Ozempic, it lowers the gastric emptying in that it reduces the movement of food from your stomach to the intestines. So basically, you stay full for longer periods of time and you eat less. So it reduces your appetite and this leads to weight loss. It is also associated with side effects such as nausea, vomiting abdominal pains and constipation and you can imagine if you are taking this drug and experiencing these side effects will you really eat so all these effects add on to the loss of appetite so people have been taking it off label for weight loss with some claiming to lose even 40 pounds just have a look at this we know you didn't do that alone. Ozempic, it shows. Wow, but it should not be try and error, guys. People are taking Ozempic in high doses, leading to excessive weight loss. Now, losing too much weight can be dangerous, and that is why this should be done with the help of your doctor. Your pharmacist should start by prescribing the lowest dose and titrating the dosages upwards while closely monitoring the weight loss and the side effects. Owing to this, Nova Nordisk actually developed a weight loss drug called Wegovi. Ozempic is also improving fertility. Now, they are calling them Ozempic Babies. Just type the hashtag Ozempic Babies on TikTok and you will see many women claiming to have surprise babies after taking Ozempic. Now, let's have a look at this. I was taking semaglutide, which is also known as o Ozempic, and uh, I got pregnant. So here is your PSA to everyone. Um, there are studies that show that a GLP-1 drug... Um, it lessens the effectiveness of your birth control and then it also heightens your fertility. So, <laughs> and also do not take it if you're pregnant. Cause I was raised by a woman who was hardly impressed. And I carry that shit taking Ozempic to treat diabetes while others for weight management. But there is one factor that is common in these two types of women, excessive weight. Diabetes is associated with obesity and obesity interferes with the hormones leading to no ovulation, irregular periods, very high levels of estrogen. And so when these women lose weight, now these symptoms improve. Now the periods become more regular, they start ovulating again. Now maybe the doctor had told you that you cannot get pregnant or you tried for so long and gave up and all of a sudden we are pregnant. Hence the name Miracle Babies. Now that takes us to these women who are actually on birth control but are still getting pregnant when using Ozempic. Now this is where the name Surprise Babies come in because it's caught you by surprise. If you're on Ozempic and hormonal birth control, you need to watch yourself. Ozempic babies are officially a thing. Your chance of having an accidental pregnancy is increased while on Ozempic. Now, this is particularly true for birth control pills. We said that Ozempic delays the gastric emptying, so the food 
stays in the stomach longer. It interferes with the absorption of food and drugs that this woman is taking. And this includes the birth control pills. Hence, it reduces the effectiveness of the birth control pills. So women taking Ozempic are advised to use other methods of birth control such as IUD or condoms. But now, if this happens and you get pregnant, will it harm the baby? There is little data on this, but if you find out that you are pregnant, let your doctor know and they should do regular monitoring on you and the baby. Now that takes us to the question, how safe is the use of Ozempic during pregnancy? Should you use Ozempic during pregnancy? There is insufficient data regarding the use of Ozempic in pregnant women. This is because we do not do studies on pregnant women. But animal studies have been done and it was observed that use of Ozempic in pregnancy led to increased miscarriages and uh, structural abnormalities in the babies. So people are encouraged that if you are planning to get pregnant, discontinue the use of Ozempic two months earlier because it takes longer for the drug to be removed from the system. But also, if the benefit of using this drug outweighs the risk, then your doctor will advise you accordingly. One of the most common causes of infertility is PCOS, that is polycystic ovarian syndrome. PCOS leads to an ovulation. This is where a woman does not ovulate. Most women with PCOS have less than eight cycles in one year. Now, PCOS has no definite cure, but lifestyle modifications can go a long way in the management of PCOS. And there are three ways to treat PCOS at home. Now, the first is to lose weight. The second is to lose weight. And the third, you got that right, lose weight. Studies have shown that the use of asemaglutide such as Ozempic and a low sugar diet resulted in more frequent periods lower testosterone levels and weight loss and this really improved fertility of women with pcos so if you need to understand more about pcos the signs of pcos the causes and the treatment then watch this video and if you are trying to conceive optimizing your diet plays a huge role in conceiving naturally we know that high sugar high cholesterol diets can create a lot of inflammation and this affects ovulation in women and it oxidizes sperms in men reducing the sperm quality so if you are wondering what are the best fertility foods then i am going to leave that video over there but don't click on it just yet make sure to subscribe if you want to learn more with dr raisha okay see you over there